Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem sort array by parity. I think this is a good problem for an easy problem. We're given an array of integer nums and we want to move all even integers to the beginning of the array and followed by all the odd integers. So in other words, we want all the odd integers to be to the right of the array. So in other words, we are partitioning this array. It doesn't really matter which example we use. So I'll go ahead and use the example they have here, three, one, two, four. Well, I guess as long as our example has some even integers as well as some odd integers. But the idea here is that we have some even integers, two and four. They're gonna be here in the output and some odd integers, three and one, they're gonna be here in the output. So there's gonna be some point where the separation is clear. Now, if we had all even integers, it wouldn't really matter. If we had all odd integers, it also wouldn't matter. And the other thing is with this example, there's actually multiple solutions. Like these two and fours could be swapped and our solution, our array would still be partitioned. Now, before I actually solve this problem, I wanna mention that this is actually a sub problem of a very famous algorithm called quicksort. Well, the way we're partitioning this is a bit different than how quicksort partitions. And by that, I mean quicksort doesn't partition by even and odd integers, it partitions based on like a greater than or less than. But the idea is the same. If you know the quicksort algorithm, you already know how to solve this problem. And a very quick plug, I have a algorithms for beginners course and in that course there is a quicksort lesson where you can learn all about quicksort as well as implement quicksort yourself in a new code sandbox that I recently implemented. Okay back to the problem. How do we do the partition? Well it's actually really really simple at least conceptually and in terms of code it's also pretty simple. So we have three one two four and we're gonna do two pointers it's a pretty common technique and we're gonna have what i'm gonna call the left and right pointer you can call them something else if you want but i like to keep it simple so i use l and r but our right pointer is going to iterate through every position in the array our left pointer is going to start at the first value same as the right pointer every time we find a even value we're gonna move it to the location that the left pointer points at and then we're gonna take our left pointer and then shift it to the right by one what this is gonna do is it's gonna guarantee regardless of where the left pointer happens to be it guarantees that everything to the left of the left pointer is gonna be even that's why we start the left pointer here to the left of it there's nothing and we also have our right pointer which initially is going to be here this is not even so we don't do anything now our right pointer is going to be here not even we're not going to do anything our right pointer is here this is even so what do we do well we swap it with the left pointer so now that we uh, did the swap our two is going to be here three is going to be here now we're going to take the left pointer and shift it to the right now it's going to be here and our right pointer is also now going to be incremented our right pointer is going to be shifted every iteration of the loop but our left pointer is only going to be shifted sometimes so now our right pointer is going to be here four it's even again swap it with whatever is at the left pointer and by the time our right pointer like passes the left pointer like it's it's gotten some space ahead we know when we're swapping it with this it can't possibly be an even value that we're swapping it with. It must be an odd value. So it doesn't matter if we move the odd value over here. And that's exactly what we do. We put the four here and we put the one over here. And now our right pointer is gonna be here. It's out of bounds, we're done. This is the solution and this is where it's partitioned. Our left pointer would have been here by now and we're pretty much done. We partitioned the array. And if we even wanted to, our left pointer would tell us where the array is partitioned. It would tell us that these are the even values and these are the odd values. That's useful in the quicksort algorithm. We don't really need it here in this solution, but with quicksort, it would make things a lot easier. Now, you might be wondering, well, what would happen if all of the values were even? Or maybe we started with some even values, four and two, and then we have 
had one and three. Like, what if we tried partitioning an array that's already partitioned? Well, I'll quickly show you that it still works because it's, this is a very simple algorithm conceptually. We have our right pointer here and our left pointer here. Well, this is even. So we're going to swap this value with itself. That's kind of weird, but there's nothing wrong with that, is there? We perform the swap, right? Then we take our right pointer and shift it to the right. That's what we always do. And we're also going to take the left pointer now because we know this is even. So we shift that to the right as well. Now our pointers are here. Our guarantee is still true. Everything to the left of the left pointer is even like we didn't break any rules here. And once again, both of these pointers are pointing at an even value. So we'd perform the swap. And then once again, we take our pointers and now shift them over here. Everything to the left of this pointer is even. And uh, this is not even. So now we take our right pointer and shift it over here. This is not even. We take our right pointer and shift it over here. Same thing, right? Nothing broke. This algorithm still works. It might not be obvious until you actually do this dry run, but it does absolutely work. Since we're iterating over the array once, time complexity is big O of n. We don't need any extra space. A memory complexity is constant. So now let's code it up. Okay, so I'm gonna initialize the left pointer to zero. I would also initialize the right pointer to zero, but we don't really need to do that because I'm just gonna use a for loop for r in range of length of nums. And then we're gonna check, is the current number at this index even? And we know it's even if modding this by two is gonna give us zero. And I guess I didn't go over that in the drawing explanation, but it's pretty simple. If we take an even number and uh, what mod is doing is it's getting the remainder. So if we uh, took four and divided by two, well, we get two, but that's not important. The remainder would be zero. If we got five, which is an odd number, the remainder is always gonna be one. The remainder is always gonna be one with odd numbers. It's always gonna be zero with even numbers. So now we perform the swap. With many languages, you might need a temporary variable. I like Python because you don't need temporary variables. You can just kind of do this. So we're literally just swapping both of these together. And the only thing to remember is when we're doing this, make sure you increment the left pointer. And then all we have to do afterwards is return the input array nums. So now let's run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io, and I'll see you soon.